<laughs> My friends, I just bought the cheapest and absolutely worst rated guitar amps from Europe's biggest music store. Some of them look really sketchy and I'm not sure what to expect. Let's find out if they're really as bad as some of these reviews say they are. Let's start the journey with the Black Star Debut 10E. It's a relatively small one already. It says 10 watts guitar amp with delay effect. All right, that one looks pretty cool actually. It smells a bit weird, but it's all about the sound of course. Let's find out what it does. All right, so we got a pretty cool clean tone out of this one right away. Let's play around with the EQ a little bit. You can actually get that kind of sparkly modern clean tone out of it. Okay, so this one might be a bit small, so you don't get the same result like with a full stack or tube amp or whatever, but I have to say it sounds pretty nice and I might actually use this for some kind of recording. All right, let's go for something even smaller. That's what she said. This one is called the Getrspenetr. That's a pretty great name. Up here it also says GCA5. Maybe that's the real one. All right, here's the epic Getrspenetr. I honestly kind of like the black and white aesthetic of that one. We just got one knob on here and only one input aside from the power. All right, so this one is a Bluetooth feature. Let's see if that works. <laughs> So you can play along to your favorite songs like waterworks for example the clean tone actually sounds pretty good okay i got a bit distracted it's not the loudest amp but at least it doesn't distort the clean signal in any way when you boost the volume Still sounds pretty nice. And you can jam to your tracks. That's also pretty cool. All right, up next we have the Flamma FA05. Another mini Bluetooth amp, and this is a company I've never heard of. All right, a pretty cool simplistic black one. We got a lot more knobs this time to play with. And it looks like it even has a small display. So this one has multiple amps, which could be interesting. We have another clean amp. What? Okay, there's some chorus and tremolo. Pretty cool. We also got some delay and reverb. So delay. That's a lot of delay, 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 delay. Let's hear some distortion. That does sound like practice amp distortion. So that's not a tone you will hear on a modern metal record. It's a little bit better. <laughs> okay, yeah, so there's a drum button, apparently. I think it's cool that this one is so ambitious with all the different amps and effects and all of that interesting stuff. But the overdrive and high gain stuff. Always sounds kind of terrible with those smaller amps. Let's see if we actually have one that will change my mind on this. Now just a quick word from the sponsor of this video. No one. That's right, for your amazing support on Patreon and by listening to the music on Spotify, I don't need to take on sponsors for these videos. I can make them just for you. In fact, my brand new single called Fuego just dropped on Spotify. <laughs> So give it a listen after watching this video with the link down in the description or in the first comment. And make sure to follow me on Spotify as well because I'm releasing new music very frequently. Thanks so much for your support. Let's continue. All right, let's go for a brand that I actually know. This is the Orange Crush Mini. I actually used to endorse Orange before I played my camper live on stage. So I have high expectations when it comes to this one. Let's see. All right, that actually looks and feels like a proper orange amp. It comes with a tuner and the whole layout and knobs remind me of my small dual terror I used to play. <laughs> So you have to be careful with the gain. So this is the pickup I used with the Black Star sound that I liked quite a lot. It sounds a little bit thin with this one.
So back to back it doesn't sound so good, but of course this is a much smaller amp. Let's see if we can get a good distorted high gain sound out of this one. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of a cool crunchy sound, but once again the high gain stuff. It's pretty hilarious. If you have an underground black metal band, this is what I'd recommend so far. All right, another relatively well-known brand. This is the Fender Mini 57. And as I can see here on the box on the side, it features one watt of power. So this is gonna get pretty intense. Okay, that's pretty cute. So I guess if you're into vintage amps and you want a really, really small one, this could be kind of interesting. Pretty thin sounding clean tone again, but of course, very small amplifier. Once I dial up the drive, we get some pretty interesting sounds. <laughs> Okay, no, that sounds hilarious. Clearly not what this amp was made for. I don't know much about vintage amps, but I guess if you like this kind of tone, then this is for you. All right, let's check out one of the weirder ones. This is the Fluid Audio Strum Buddy. This doesn't really look like anything we checked out so far. On the back side, you have a suction cup. Let's see if it works. Very impressive, actually. But it's not supposed to go on your head. As you might have guessed, you're supposed to stick it on your guitar. <laughs> Okay, well, this somehow works and there's some reverb or something on there. Sounds like a slap delay. That's pretty crazy, honestly, I'm just plugged into this thing on my guitar and it actually stays on my guitar. I have a button right here that says crunch. That's interesting. A button that says chorus. I kind of like that I just have my guitar with this one and not a small practice amp and a long cable and all of that. Of course, it doesn't sound like a high quality amp plugin that we have access to nowadays. <laughs> But it's a fun one. All right, next we have another vintage one. It's the Dan Electro Honeytone. This one says louder than other mini amps. We will put that to the test. All right, pretty cool vintage look actually. Looks like a vintage radio. Compared to the others, it's very plasticky. Feels a bit like a toy. Let's see if it sounds like one as well. Okay, it is pretty loud. <laughs> This one definitely sounds bigger than it actually is. Pretty nice kind of old school tone. That's a bit too much. So to be honest, this is the vintage one I prefer so far. Simply sounds a little bit bigger. Right, the next one is a bit bigger once again. It's a Jojo or Yo-Yo MA10 microamp. Very sleek black look, small logo, I like it. Feels pretty hollow, I hope there's something inside. Ooh, it doesn't sound that bad. Nice! So that's the first practice amp high gain tone. That's pretty cool actually. Maybe not for the lead stuff. I guess I wouldn't use it on stage or on a record. But for a practice amp and for an amp this size, it actually sounds surprisingly good. Up next, we have to do the absolute biggest brand. This is the Marshall MS2 Microamp. It might be the smallest one we look at today. It looks like a miniature half stack. It actually reminds me of the guitar amp I started out with. It was a Marshall combo. Let's see if we can get that classic Marshall sound out of this very small amp. Okay, now that's a really small amp. But we do get some relatively decent volume out of it. Let's switch to the OD channel. I think we have another black metal amp right here. 
Not exactly a huge distortion tone, but what do you expect from an empty size? Okay, amps this size are kind of a gimmick. It just looks fun to have a small Marshall like this, but the sound... Not that great. All right, and for the big highlight, let's check out the absolute cheapest one. This amp costs around $15. It's from a brand you might have heard of, Harley Benton. I don't know if you can see it, but the package looks really dirty already. And this is not a B-Stock order. It's supposed to be a brand new one. And there it is in all its glory. So this one is even smaller than the Marshall we just looked at. And actually, when it comes to the look and the controls of this amp, I think it's kind of inspired by the Marshall one, except this one is silver instead of gold. The plastic on this one doesn't exactly look new, but it's $15 if it works I'm already surprised <laughs> I'm kind of scared of checking out the OD channel <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't sound that great, but for $15, I kind of expected it to sound worse, to be honest. So if you need a really small and really, really cheap guitar amp for some reason, this one is actually not that bad. All right, let me know which one of these you actually liked the most in the comments down below. And don't forget to head over to Spotify right now to check out my new single called Fuego. This one is made especially for all guitar nerds and guitar music lovers. So check it out right now. Let me know what you think. I will see you again in the next video. Bye bye.